fucking heavy. What an amazing accomplishment. On April the 11th, 2019, the newly upgraded Falcon Heavy blasted off from Cape Canaveral, carrying its first commercial payload to low Earth orbit, a Saudi Arabian satellite. This would not only end up being the first commercial flight for the world's most powerful operational rocket, it would end up being the first fully recovered Falcon Heavy flight too. This is because, around 8 minutes after liftoff, the two side boosters for the rocket successfully touched down together closely followed by the successful landing of the central core aboard the drone ship Of Course I Still Love You about two minutes later, which was the only part of the Falcon Heavy's maiden flight that failed. However, the boosters don't have much time to cool down and relax because SpaceX already plans to reuse them for its next Falcon Heavy launch, currently scheduled for June this year. The mission will support the US Air Force and will contain several smaller payloads rather than just the one big heavy satellite. Now that the success of the Falcon Heavy is proven, one has to wonder what will become of existing competition, such as the aging Delta IV Heavy, which is currently the Falcon Heavy's only real rival. The Delta IV Heavy costs over $250 million more per launch than the Falcon, and has less than half the payload capacity to boot. Not to mention, it's not recoverable at all, but even when the Falcon Heavy is launched in an expendable configuration, it still undercuts the price of the competition by quite a significant margin. Perhaps the biggest threat to the Falcon Heavy status as the most powerful operational rocket is NASA's planned SLS system, which will have approximately double the capacity of the Falcon Heavy. However, with the SpaceX Super Heavy, formerly known as the BFR, rapidly approaching over the horizon, and with the constant cuts and pushbacks and bureaucracy to the SLS program, the future of NASA's rockets is looking more and more redundant by the day. I do hope they get something together though, because then I can cover something other than SpaceX in this series, but that's not on me, that's on NASA.